Good morning, my birthday boys and girls, you birthday boys and girls Sagittarians. I hope you guys are having a great week, good start to your week and a good weekend, um, a good birthday season. Happy birthday to all who are celebrating today, tomorrow, um, and in the previous uh, weeks. I hope it was a good, good birthday season. I have tarot, actually I just realized, I just realized I, I flipped these decks. You're the only sign where this was the clarifier and this was the main for some reason. I, this is how it is, you know, when you, I believe in no accidents, that's how it is today. Seven of Wands reverse Leo energy and the Sun reverse Leo energy. And maybe you're just trying to keep a certain person at bay or you're trying to keep people at bay. Seven of Wands reverse is, is, um, not letting a whole lot of people in or one person in and a sun reverse is maybe you're very protective of your energy at this time. It could be that. So let's see what's going on here, Sag. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are a Sag, you know a Sag. Feel like being a Sagittarius. Well, Sages, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sag in this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story. And Sagittarius could be the cross watcher. So take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. Let's see. What are the general, what is the general message for Sagittarius today? What are the messages that need to come out today? What are the messages that need to come out today for Sag? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What are the messages needed to come out today? One more. One more. Okay, one more time around. One more. One more. No, no. All right, general energy. Collect the messages for Sagittarians. Collect the messages for Sagittarians. Right there. Three of Swords and a Seven of Pentacles. Ooh. Three of Pentacles reverse. I like that. Capricorn energy. I mean, I like that if you're the one letting go, but it's it could be a release, something you held on to for a long time, you know, and it is three three hands, just noting that. But see how frayed that rope is where it, it's painful. A lot of times it's painful to hold on to something and it's a relief to finally let something go. And it's interesting to note that we have a seven of pentacles and you threw away the three. Like you just let go. I honestly actually feel like you could have waited for a long time at a seven and you kind of just let go of this person bringing in a three. Could be even that, the expectation. Because then we have a three of swords going on here too. What's influencing the three of pentacles reverse? Capricorn energy. What's influencing the three of pentacles reverse? What's influencing the three of pentacles reverse? What's influencing the three of pentacles reverse? Yeah, star reverse. It's kind of knowing that there's a reason why this probably didn't work out or is not working out or it's not coming together. And you know, the here, look at this. See how she's reaching for a star and this person's letting go. I feel like you kept reaching for something that wasn't reaching back for you. It's like, I just feel not reciprocal here. All right, what's the reason for the reading for Sagittarian? And it also, I feel like this kept you off from your wish fulfillment, from your goals, from your life path. Too much focus could have been on this energy rather than on yourselves, on things that made you happy. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading here? That's too many. But it could be nine of cups reverse the emperor reverse and the nine of wands holding on to somebody who's unable to grow up holding on to somebody who can't make a decision and it really i feel like nine of cups reverse is you gave everything to something and it still wasn't enough and nine of cups upright could be a bit smug it could be a very arrogant energy and i feel like you're dealing with an emperor reverse is a very arrogant energy I think they were a nine of cups upright. They had it to give and they just chose not to give it to you. They had a job to give and they chose not to give it to you. And you held on, you showed somebody your worth. You, you worked your ass off for this position. You worked your ass off for this relationship or this connection and it still wasn't enough. To the point where you held yourself back. See how he's holding back his eight of wands? when they really should be flying. They should be just seeing what would, what's gonna hit. That's where I feel like the wish fulfillment missed. It's, it's reaching for this specific thing had you missing the mark on other things, missing other opportunities. 
when this never gave this never was going to give you what you needed anyway even if you got this this energy was way too selfish if this was a job it would not have paid you what it promised you knight of cups reverse though i'm really getting this is more along the lines of love page of swords reverse and the knight of cups reverse and i feel like some of you are getting like um page of swords reverse is seeing like getting i almost want to say vindication like finally understanding that this wasn't in your head this person really is is as selfish as you thought they were because they made you feel like you were the one wrong like wronging them knight of cups reverse is a player i mean it's just somebody you can't rely on it's somebody who says one thing and does another it's somebody who promises one thing and never shows up and again nine of cup nine of pentacles it's like i have this to give but i'm not it's just i just i yeah let's keep going though what's in the past here for the sagittarians what's in the past and for some of you i feel like and i this has been playing out for some time in your readings and I can't help to think that this person could have promised to come, call you for your birthday or come, and they didn't. And that's when you're saying, you know what? I am tired of holding on to a connection where I'm the only one holding on. And I suspect there's other people holding on to you too. That's what you're doing when, when you're not in contact with me. Okay, what is, what is in the past here, Sag? What is in the past? What is in the past here? Ace of Pentacles, something beautiful, something to be grown, it's fruitfulness. Queen of Wands and then the moon. Okay, we'll, we'll get where that's going. Okay, what is on your mind? What is on Sagittarian's mind? What is on Sagittarian's mind? What is on Sagittarian's mind? The t I love that. That's this Ten of Swords. Now, in this deck, there's two threes and two tens. Now, this ten is all-knowing, being wiser, not in pain, but saying, now I know why this had to come in my life. And more importantly, now I know why it needs to leave my life. So I love that it's an Ace of Pentacles in the past. I love that. Because this tells me that a lot of you moved on from this energy but on your mind you have an understanding of why this came in so that makes me think you have something new already in or you have another a job or you have another opportunity um who did i do first i think i did leo first and it, it, it kind of plays into that like thank god for unanswered prayers you have something in that's highlighting how bad this really was. Queen of Pentacles in a Two of Cups. Look at that. Some, something worth investing in. And that's you. The real thing. If this is a job, this is, this, is, this is a position that you didn't even think you could get. You were applying for something lower. And somebody said, hey, you know what? I think you would be really good over here. You know, have you ever thought of do, working on, in this area? Um, if this is love, you, maybe you've really thought this was never going to come in, but I really feel like all this time that you were reaching for, for this emperor reverse and this emperor reverse made you feel like you weren't worthy of anything better. It just, it, 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 it could have really wasted your time to be honest. But the good thing is, is even in the past, you have a new beginning in ace of pentacles. I do feel like this emperor reverse is back. That's why we're having this reading in the hopes that you're holding on, reason for the reading, in the hopes, because this is all connected. Now, now that we got the cards out here, not all of them, but most of them, I feel that this isn't your energy, this is what they think, because they're that arrogant. They think that the, you're still holding on to them. Emperor reverse and a Nine of Cups reverse. Nine of Cups reverse, though, I feel like is truly their energy. They operate in a very lowly place, in a very empty place. And they're thinking you are just going to be waiting for them like a dog at the door. And you're not. Because you're over here, knowing your worth, entwined with the real thing. G given a golden goose over here. 
and understanding why this really needed to leave because it was never going to give you, it was always going to keep you out in the cold because it doesn't let, it's just a selfish ass energy. And I, yeah, so I feel because it's five of pentacles reverse, you are finally balanced and happy and in a very, very good place. And now we have a new strong karmic connection. A new karmic is now beginning. Yes, this is coming back, five of swords. But I have a feeling it, it will, this might be in your reading for some time because you dealt with this for some time. Um, and maybe you let it back for a lot of times and it might take some time for this to get the message that you are finally forever done with this the good thing is is it doesn't even matter if it's back or not because this is where you're at this is where your energy's at it's happy it's balanced it's getting it's just due this is the universe throwing you something positive your way throwing something good your way um yeah and i i, I love it all right what's the near future for sag and that was very loud What's the near future for the Sagittarians? I see Empress. You know what? I wish I would have pulled that card. I saw the Empress. Um, pregnancy card. Just saying, I'm really feeling some of you might be getting pregnant here soon. So if you don't want to, you know what to do. All right, near future for Sagittarians. Near future for Sagittarians. Near future for the Sagittarians. Four, see, there's the four of wands reverse and the sun. I just feel this is a person. See how it's a birthday card? This is a person who wouldn't show up for you every year, every single freaking year. They said they would, but they won't. You know why? Because it's not going to be about them and they don't like that. Plus, they would have to dish out some money and they don't like that either. So the thing is, is though, look what you have coming in or you have in. You have an ace of swords. You have a king of cups and you have the sun. I feel like this is the reward of a lifetime. You got the real one. This is not someone you would date for years and then they would finally pop the question. This is something I feel like that would pray. This is one of those things that might like you end up getting married in six months because when you know, you know, it's just, it's that strong. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's worth, it's worthwhile. Give me another card here because I'm so, I'll be honest, this energy is tiring, Sag. Your past energy. And I feel like, it, and maybe it always comes out because you're not talking to them. And gosh, it feels like it's always about them. All right, what's the near future here? Near future for the Sagittarians. That's not the past energy. What's the near future? I want to know about this King of Cups, a Scorpio. What's the near future for Sagittarians? What's the near future for Sagittarians? What's the near future for Sagittarians? What is it? You got a lot here. You got the Six of Cups, which I maybe you're dealing with Scorpio. I said that. But the Five of Wands, the Knight of Wands reverse, and the Ten of Swords reverse. Can we just stick with the Six of Cups? <laughs> Can we just throw these away? Five of Wands is conflict. The only reason I think it's conflict, the first, if it was a Five of Wands and a Six of Cups, I'd be like, hey, you got a soulmate that's going to fight for you. But no, we got a Knight of Wands reverse and a Ten of Swords reverse. Honestly, Knight of Wands reverse is your energy. I think this is you guys finally getting fed up, saying, you know what? I, you have put so many swords on me. And never once did you come around trying to pull these out and I've had to heal myself. And once I'm healed and I'm whole and I'm happy, do you finally come around again to put those swords in again? Not happening this time. I'm in a good place. You're not allowed back in my energy. So I really feel like that Knight of Wands reverse is you not giving this person anything. And Five of Wands might finally be telling them what they need to hear. I really get a protective energy with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups and a Two of Cups. I get a protective energy around you. I feel like you're protected also at this time because you went through something so too, it was a lot. It was a long, some of you, it was years you went through this. That now that you have something good, you don't want anything to mess it up. You don't want anything, you don't want the past screwing it up. What is this Three of Pentacles reverse and the Star reverse? 
Three of Pentacles reverse and the Star reverse. General energy. What is this? Three of Pentacles reverse and the Star reverse. Capricorn and Aquarius. Three of Pentacles reverse and the Star reverse for Sages. What is that about? Yep, and the Six of Swords. Sag is like, I'm moving on. I do feel like you have help. I think you have a new relationship. See all the waters, even though it's Aquarius? I'm telling you, King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Page of Swords and the Death card. Maybe this past energy is getting news that you're fully over. You're done with this. Three of Wands reverse. Four of Swords reverse. Yeah, maybe that's what brings them back. But Six of Swords, it's, it's energetically moved on from this. Okay, why the Six of Swords? Why the Six of Swords? Aquarian energy. I really feel like this person could never give you what you want, but you got somebody who will, and then some. I really feel like you got, like, it's a major blessing, honestly. After so much, what's the opposite of a blessing? That's what you guys dealt with. What's the, what, why the Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands? Look at that. Look at our Sagittarians back on the saddle. Got the fire under their adorable little asses. This is, this is a lot of passion. This is excitement. This is, this is feeling you again and better than ever. Six of Wands. Feeling, feeling like you could do anything. Movement, energy after so much stagnancy can you imagine if you couldn't walk for a long time and then you could and i mean it would be like grandpa and um charlie and the chocolate factory you start dancing and clicking your heels i mean this is like this feels good this feels like your spirit is lighter and you're floating what is this nine of wands emperor reverse and the nine of cups reverse reason for the reading Nine of Wands, Emperor Reverse, and the Nine of Cups Reverse. And the hang, yeah, this person thinks you're stuck. This isn't you, Sag. They just think you are because they're that arrogant. Piscean energy, they think you're still tied to them, that you can't get over them because they're the best thing since sliced bread. And, you know, th they don't know that there's been life that has gone on past 1907. All right, what's, what's, uh, why the hangman? Why the hangman? Yeah, Ten of Cups. They don't, they have no idea what you're in or about to be in. Some of you Sages don't even know you're about to be in this. Knight of Cups, here it comes your way. This is the happiness. Knight to the Ten. You deserve this, Sag. You really freaking deserve this. Knight of Cups is romance. Pisces, Knight and the Ten of Cups and the Hangman. As you're hanging here, healing, getting a perspective, learning about yourself, you come across this energy, reason for the reading. Maybe you weren't looking for love, but love found you. And then before you knew it, maybe you went on a date. This person made you laugh, made you, made you step out of the sadness, made you step out of this black and white existence back into color. And you got the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords, and Things are just moving. You don't even know how this all happened, but it did. All right, what's this Ace of Pentacles in the past? Ace of Pentacles in the past. What is that about? Ace of Pentacles in the past. And the Seven of Wands. Look at him. Looks like John Travolta. Staying alive, staying alive. Seven of Wands is getting a lot of attention. So this tells me in the peripheral, this is already new. I love it. Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So that's getting attention. That's starting to get a taste of life after heartbreak. Love after heartbreak again. Seven of Wands and the devil. But the magician and the empress. I think that's a good devil, actually. The empress, a page of cups. You know what the devil feels like when you first meet somebody and there you exchange numbers but by the end of the week you're like constantly talking you're constantly texting you're constantly sending pictures that's what that feels like the devil the page of cups the emperor i'm telling you with that empress card i saw it in this some of you will be pregnant in the next few months be very careful if you don't want to be three of swords reverse in the queen of cups somebody's healing this queen's heart i love that in the emperor Look at that. Empress and the Emperor. 
All right, so Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Ten of Swords on Sag's mind. What is that about? And the Five of Swords reverse, Aquarian energy. Five of Swords reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could have met this person. They could have helped you solve a, Five of Swords reverse is finding a solution to a problem. It could be within work, around your finances. You could work with this person. Um, only because there's a queen of pentacles attached to it and then right next to it is a two of cups I that it just feels like this is a person you met like You weren't looking for love. I don't think you were looking for love at all I think you met this person because you walked into their work or they walked into your work um, Somebody and it was very platonic. It was very nice. And next thing you know, there was exchanging of numbers. There was giggling. There was flirtation. And it just took off. It just came out of nowhere. And before you know it, look at the bottom of the deck. The lovers. You don't even know who you are anymore. You're laughing. You're smiling. You're no longer crying. You're no longer thinking of this bastard. And you're happy, Sad. You're very happy. Okay, Six of Cups and the Four of Wands reverse. Oh, I don't like that four of wands reverse. <laughs> but I have to clarify because it's here. All right. Can, let's go to the six of cups first. Why the six of cups? Uh, Scorpio, six of cups is soulmate. It's good memories. It's happiness. Why the six of cups? I get wedding bells, honestly. I get wedding bells. Wheel of fortune reverse. Wheel of fortune reverse. And the two of wands reverse. Some of you might feel like this is going too fast. Maybe you're worried this person's moving too fast. That could be that. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, that could seven of pentacles reverse. It definitely could be that. If this is because the four of wands reverse and the six of cups were coming out together, if this is about the past energy, that is a hard no. Wheel of Fortune reverse, Two of Wands reverse, and a Seven of Pentacles reverse. There is no more time, love, energy, notion, memories you want to give on this. Four of Wands reverse is nothing can be built. There's not, it's not a strong foundation. Four of Wands reverse, you're already realizing with a Seven of Pentacles reverse. Remember, at the, at the really reason, general energy is a Three of Pentacles reverse. Together, it's a Ten of Pentacles reverse. There's nothing that can be built when you can't trust the other person you they lie i feel like you dealt with someone that constantly and consistently lies and lets you down so i feel like i do feel like it's back but i feel like maybe you this is where you can say kiss off um and wheel of fortune reversed and a two of wands reverse i just it's like you're making that decision to say you know what i i just need you to leave me alone because i'm in a really good place now this is all on your mind and the reason for the reading is happiness i feel and even back here's the ace of pentacles i'm telling you this is in it's here some of you you guys already know who this is because you're talking to this person and this person feels the exact same way about you um and i of course because tarot spreads are predictive and some of you could be coming in, in the next a few weeks here um very very strong energy but yeah, you, this is, this is a long time coming. I've been seeing this in your reads, like hints that this was coming in, but not to this effect. This is like a lot of cards of, I mean, the two of cups and the six of cups and the queen of pentacles and the lovers. I mean, this is the one Sag. This is, this is really impressive as love goes. Um, yeah, it's really good. All right. All right, my dears have a great end of your birthday season. I hope it was a good one. I love, I, I really hope this did come in during your birthday season because it's a great way to end a birthday season. All right, guys, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you when I see you. I love you guys. Take care.